Eine dunkle Macht ist erwacht. Und der Kampf beginnt. Kolossos. Kampf der Giganten. Neu 2019 und nur im Heidepark Resort. Hey, hey, this is Coach Joe Dunkers the Bomb Bob, built for theme parks. So nice you just saw there, the Heidi Park trailer. Woo! So we got some more details on the retrack uh, and refurbishment of their wooden coaster Colossus. Um, so after several years of standstill, the Colossus coaster is now finally back open this year. Um, and the new trailer has definitely fueled the anticipation for the return of the coaster. It's been voted one of the best co wooden coasters in Europe and I can't wait to see it back so Heidi Park will be celebrating the reopening of Colossus um, and my god they've gone all out for it um, it had to be closed in the summer of 20 if, basically if you don't know the knowledge on this basically it had to be closed in the summer of 2016 uh, due to the necessary repairs uh, and it's going to be returning this spring with a brand new background story and changed design uh, and the new trailer has definitely uh, revealed basically what the new story is going to be. Um, so from the trailer we see that a dark power evolved apparently in the underground of Colossus and spread quickly by large roots. Struts resembling the branches or roots of a tree were already seen at the end of last year on the new steel construction on the site. And what the new giant might do is uncertain. So interesting. Uh, and of course we also saw in the new trailer... It said, a dark power has awakened and the fight begins. Further information will follow in the future, apparently. So, uh, yeah, very, very um, happy about that. Um, so it says, 15 years Colossus dominated the skyline of Hardy Park. For three years, the giant rested and a dark force makes its way in secret. The ultimate battle of the giants begins. So, this is basically a rename of the original coaster. It's going to be renamed to Colossus Battle of the Giants. And I'm so excited for this. Really, really excited. Now, I didn't put this in my European theme park season preview video. I've already filmed. However, I'm doing something very different for the UK one, which you'll see in due course. Um, stay tuned for that. Um, so I didn't put this in the European season theme park preview. However, I am still very excited for this. The previews are just for the bigger attractions. Just because it's not on there doesn't mean it's not big. I'm, I'm still really excited for all the projects going on in the UK, Europe, America, around the world. It's just not on the preview. Just because I wanted to wait until all the details were out. Um, like the European one. all the Pretty much most, most or nearly all the details were out about those coasters. So, again, this is all about... Um, some of the details being released now rather than later and I wanted to film the preview then uh, before the theme parks start to open because it's usually uh, mid-February when the parks start to open sometimes February half term um, and then it's usually March and April when the parks open full time um, so in addition to the new story the old wooden rails on the Colossus coaster were removed to install new rails and for the new building the parent company Merlin invested 12 million euros which is a lot of money. So, there's no specific date confirmed for the reopening of the coaster. However, it is mentioned that Colossus Battle of the Giants will be opening in spring 2019. So, I cannot wait to see this coaster back, rebuilt, reborn. It's fantastic. Heidi Park's a brilliant park um, over in Germany. It's a fantastic park home to the b and Wing Coaster Flug de Diamond. Um, home to Crake, the B&M Dive Coaster, and of course Colossus, uh, which is one of the, again, like I said at the beginning of the video, it is one of the best wooden coasters in Europe, and I'm so glad it's coming back this year uh, with some brand new rails, some brand new refurbishments all around the ride, and to be fair, I praise Heidi Park for what they've done along with the refurbishment. It's not like, it's not like the usual, oh, we'll just, uh, we'll refurbish the ride, but we'll um, keep it this will keep it the same storylines to make it the same experience. They haven't done that at all. They've refurbished the ride like they needed to to get it reopened, but they thought, hang on a minute, let's get let this is the perfect opportunity to bring it back in a brand new form with some brand new design, a brand new story, um, as well as the refurbished ride experience. So I love how they're doing this brand new storyline about how the giants rested for three years, the three years that Colossus was closed while it was being refurbished, the rails were being replaced with new ones, the new steel construction was in, 
Um, I think early on when Colossus closed in the first place because of these issues, I think all of us immediately jumped on the uh, RMC hype train. But of course, as further details were, uh, were revealed later on, uh, about a year and a half after, the, uh, after it first closed, um, we sort of understood it wasn't going to be RMC and it was just going to be a refurbishment to get the old coaster back up and running. But I do see Hardy Park doing an RMC in future, just not refurbishing Colossus, probably an RMC from scratch. Because um, I don't think Colossus should have been RMC'd in my opinion, I do think that Colossus should have stayed uh, as uh, itself. Um, I, think it's, um, I think it's fine as it is, it doesn't need the uh, RMC treatment, that's one of the wooden coasters out there in Europe that doesn't need the RMC treatment. Um, the, and the RMC conversion into a top track or an iBox. Um, I do think Colossus is a great ride experience and it doesn't need to be RMC. I think if they were going to RMC it would be something like 2035, something ridiculous like that if they were going to do something like that but I really don't see a Colossus being RMC in dead time soon um, or in the next 10-15 years even. I see Colossus standing there as itself but again praises to Heidi Park for bringing in a new storyline renaming it slightly as well, Colossus Battle of the Giants to sort of incorporate the brand new storyline into the title of the coaster. Uh, another very successful move in my opinion um, to link it to the brand new storyline and the brand new theme they're going with it. Uh, I'm kind of hoping, I mean it says for the new building uh, Millen are investing 12 million euros for the new building so that's sort of the overall refurbishment however could that also include possibly a spare bit of budget to improve the station? Because I know the station is still very decent. It's a very nice, um, you know, picturesque kind of station. But I do feel with the new storyline, they can do some really cool stuff with that. Make it a fully indoor station. Um, put some nice theming on it. You know, like the... Um, I, can't, I don't think it's like like those like thin strips of lighting but if you if you've been on the if you've walked around the queue line of magma the family drop tower at Poulton's park you'll know this uh, in the queue line um you've got like an orange strip of uh, lighting that looks like lava cracking through the rocks but it's like been all over the walls just as you're walking through so something like that like the giants risen and the volcanic eruptions erupted onto the colossus site and it's been completely changed um, to incorporate the site so again just little bits here and there make it a fully indoor station I'm sure I'm a score from Germany is probably going to put some brand new soundtrack to it well, now it's unsure at the minute whether they're going to keep the old soundtrack or bring in new soundtrack but in my opinion if they're bringing in a new storyline a slight change to the ride name a full refurbished attraction then I would be highly recommending to bring in a brand new soundtrack the close soundtrack from the original ride uh, that I'm a score did was brilliant um, but I do feel as if a brand new soundtrack is needed now as far as I'm aware Hardy Park have not uh, approached I'm a score to do the uh, soundtrack for the refurbished Colossus but I might be wrong there might be stuff going on behind the scenes over in Germany I'm not entirely sure um, so we'll have to see on that one but I would like I'm a score to come in and do some new soundtrack for Colossus Battle of the Giants it's going to be weird saying Colossus Battle of the Giants and not just Colossus because the original ride is gone now. We've got this refurbished part of Colossus uh, as Colossus Battle of the Giants. And again, and again with the theme, I love the theme. Um, Battle of the Giants, the Giants rested for three years. It's coming out of, out of the erupting uh, underground and it's been unleashed in spring 2019. I love that kind of theme. Um, so there we go, so that's all that was revealed then from the trailer of Colossus Battle of the Giants that's opening in spring 2019. As soon as I've got an announcement date, I'll do a separate video on Coast Child YouTube channel bringing you the confirmed opening date of the refurbished Colossus. Um, I'm not entirely sure when Hardy Park season starts. I believe, in my opinion, I think it's mid-March, I think. The part of Million Entertainment, so um, they usually open sort of... it's. Uh, the, the season usually starts the end of March, especially for Alton Towers uh, and Thorpe Park. Um, they open sort of between the 23rd and the 25th of March. I know uh, Chessington World of Adventures are opening for pa annual pass holders day on the 9th of March. Uh, for, for Again, for the Merlin annual pass holders preview day. Uh, where people can come in and try the new Room on the Broom. And then Room on the Broom officially opens with the park on the 10th of March. Uh, the day after the annual pass holders preview day. Um, so again, 
we we'll just have to double check on that. Double check the Heidi Park website. I'm going to put a link to the Heidi Park website in the description of this video. Uh, so you can go have a look at the opening times, pricing for tickets, and see how you can get your tickets. There we go then, so thank you very much for watching this video from Heidi Park. I need to go and film something from Disneyland Park in Paris. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a video. My name is Coast Child on Born, but built for theme parks. Keep living the curse up, my dudes, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, have an awesome day, my friends. Thank <laughs> you.